Hey there, welcome to another Edit Video Faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short, and I'll be showing you how to change the starting time code of a sequence in Avid Media Composer. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that I come out with a new tutorial every week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new one. Alright, on with the tutorial. I already have Media Composer open with an empty sequence. You might want to change the starting time code for a variety of reasons. I'm a bit OCD in that I like to have the first frame of my project to start at exactly one hour. To do that, I need to change the start of my sequence to 59 minutes instead, so I have room for black and a slate. To change the starting time code, it's pretty simple but not necessarily in the most obvious place. Go up to the record monitor, the one on the right, right click it and select sequence report. It used to be somewhere else in this menu, maybe back in Media Composer 4, but I think from 5 on uh, this tutorial should work for you. I'm working in Media Composer 7, so if this is different in 8, let us know. Go over to the starting TC box, TC stands for timecode and type in the time you want the sequence to start. Oh, here's a quick shortcut for you. If you hit the decimal key on the number pad, that types two zeros. When you're done, hit Apply Changes. And then click Cancel, since we don't need to generate a report. Once we zoom out, we see that the sequence now starts at 59 minutes. And that's how you change the starting time code of a sequence in Avid Media Composer. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I come out with a new tutorial every week, so again, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new one. I also come out with a new post every week over at the website, editvideofaster.com. In this week's post, I issue you a challenge and a chance to win a free guide in Avid Media Composer. Go check it out. Oh, and one last thing, the question of the week. What project of yours are you the most proud of right now? Leave your answer in the comments with some links to them if you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you over at the site and back here for another tutorial next week.